Almost 90% of the world's oceans are depleted of fish or are overfished in some way. The question is, how do we plan to replenish these fish for the future? In this report, the Monitor's Ryan Nakan shows us how Georgia's Fort Valley State University has found ways to replenish the Earth's fish population and at the same time, grow a garden. It's been said if you teach a man to fish, he will eat for a lifetime. But what does it mean if you teach him to grow his own fish and with those fish, grow his own garden? Well, it means he can feed a community for generations. This produces an opportunity. For fish farmers like Sandy Miller, the idea of diversifying his operations couldn't have come at a better time. In order to be profitable, you have to be fishing. You have to know how to use your land, to use your resources in a way where it decreases the cost. So this is a, a way to achieve that. The method is called aquaponics and it uses recirculating water to allow fish waste help grow plants. It enables me as a fish farmer not only just to produce fish, but now I can produce tomatoes or another variety, lettuce. With research and technology used at Fort Valley State University in Georgia, what once seemed impossible now seems remarkable. Fish are going to be expelling uh, waste products. During a recent workshop, Dr. Patricia Duncan explained to a group of people how the future of aquaculture is changing. Over the years, we've become more sophisticated and we know how to manage these systems. So you're using much less land, much less water to raise fish in a small area. The process of aquaponics is simple and it recreates what already happens in nature, using nitrogen and minerals from the fish waste to help feed plants. When you circulate that over the, the plant roots, much like in a hydroponic system. But unlike the hydroponic system, there's no chemical balance needed. What this is, allows is a farmer every two weeks to harvest lettuce or herbs and every four months to pull off uh, tilapia so that they've got cash flow over a different time period. Because this waste is so high in nitrogen and minerals, the plants need little to no attention and grow with almost everything the waste provides. We give the fish such good feeds that all the minerals, nutrients come out of the waste. We can grow a variety of herbs, plants, and vegetables. That aids me in being diversified and it aids me in being sustainable. It aids me in being efficient, so this technology is exciting to us. Overfishing and pollutants in fish are a huge problem not just in the United States, but across the globe. And here at Fort Valley State, they're working with farmers to become more efficient and then therefore put it to good use on their farms. The only way we will reach the demand for seafood is through aquaculture. And there's a huge gap between what we're producing in the United States and what needs to be produced. This is part of the solution. If we can produce the product in an environment like this and it's efficient and we can be profitable, this is the answer to those problems. Because this technology is available, we're trying to get all the equipment in the greenhouses. Farmers like Sandy Miller look forward to turning out a product. We can put it on our farms and, and, and produce it in a high volume scenario. That's ideal. And it gives Georgia fish farmers a clear sign of things to come. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Ryan Nockham.